Hi, I'm Sarah Clayton, and I'm on the Windows 10 Internet of Things team here at Microsoft. Today, I'll be showing you how to flash Windows 10 IoT Core using the IoT dashboard onto a Dragon Board 410C. So let's get started. First, you'll need to round up a couple items. So you'll need a 5 voltage micro USB cable. You'll need a 12 voltage power supply. Um, don't get any more than 12 voltage because otherwise you might run into a few problems uh, flashing IoT core onto your board. And of course, you'll need a Dragon board. We also highly recommend using an external monitor so you can easily troubleshoot anything that might happen um, while Windows 10 IoT core is booting up. So first, if you don't already have Windows 10 IoT Core dashboard, you'll need to download it from our website, which is windowsondevices.com. Um, so we'll go to Downloads, and here's where you download it. But for the sake of this demo, um, we already have it downloaded right here. So we'll want to switch the device type to the Qualcomm Dragon Board. And then for the Dragon Board, you will need to be a in Windows Insider to get the latest uh, build for the Dragon Board. So let's sign in. All right, and now we have the Windows Insider preview. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to hook up all the different things we need for the Dragon Board. So let's get the HDMI cable for the monitor. Let's get the power supply. So the Dragon Board has a source of power. And then uh, with the micro USB cable, what we'll want to do is hold down uh, this addition button here, the, the plus button on the Dragon Board 410C, and that will enable it to go into flashing mode. And you'll know it's flashing mode when you see a hammer and a lightning bolt icon um, on the external monitor. So let's go ahead and hold down that addition sign. You'll see on your dashboard um, that it'll come up with this new field that says flashable device. Um, when you get that, you know you're ready to go, and also, again, with this icon. And so now you'll say, I accept the software license terms, and you'll download and install. So now you'll want to click Continue when flashing the image. And again, with the monitor, uh, you can usually tell what's going on. At this point, the dashboard's taken over, and you can see the progress that's being made. Uh, but once everything is booted up, um, you'll definitely know from the monitor um, that Windows 10 IoT Core is up and running on your Dragon Board. So now that uh, your Dragon Board has, has been flashed with Windows 10 IoT Core, um, let's take a look and see um, what it looks like when it's been flashed. Um, so let's just kind of unplug things real quick. And then it should boot up with this screen uh, when Windows 10 IoT Core has been flashed onto the board. So once you do that, you are set up with your new Dragon Board with Windows 10 IoT Core. Um, just remember to rename the device using Windows Device Portal and also reset a password. Uh, we Highly recommend that just because if you have the default username and password, um, people can easily uh, hack into your device, which we want to make sure that doesn't happen to, to our users. Um, and then you can explore um, using uh, this IoT Core default app we have running on Windows 10 IoT Core. Other than that, let us know what you think and what you decide to build with Windows 10 IoT Core. Thanks so much.